Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be solving a polynomial equation. Kind of like a functional equation with polynomials. We have p of x and p of x minus 2 and p of x is a polynomial, so is p of x minus 2. And their sum is 6x plus 4. And we're going to be solving for p, find the polynomial that satisfies this equation. Or find the polynomials if there's more than one. Or if there's no solutions, then there are no solutions. I'm also going to show you the result from Wolfram Alpha. What do you think? Do you think Wolfram Alpha can solve this problem? Okay, and that's going to be a little surprising, so I'm going to save it for the end. So whenever you see a problem with polynomials, especially when you have a sum or product like this, then you would probably want to replace p of x with something. With functional equations, we don't have this much freedom or actually we don't have the luxury, I should say, because we can't easily replace them with something unless we know what kind of function we're dealing with. If they tell us, okay, it's a linear function, you can say, hey, let f of x be mx plus b or ax plus c, whatever, and then proceed from there. But this time we have a polynomial and polynomials are nice functions. There are smooth curves, they're continuous, negative infinity to the infinity, uh, they have their maxima, minima, so on and so forth. In this case, we're kind of looking at a linear sum. What is that supposed to mean? Does that mean p of x is linear or could it be quadratic? So think about an alternative problem. Suppose you had p of x minus p of x minus 2 equals something linear like this. And would p of x necessarily be a linear polynomial? Okay, that would be a good question. But in this case, since they are being added, the x term, whatever the power is, the degree is, is going to be raised to the same power, so they're not going to cancel out. Therefore, I conclude, I hereby conclude, that p of x must be a linear polynomial. So, I'm going to replace p of x with ax plus b then. That's appropriate, right? For a linear polynomial. And what does p of x minus 2 mean? Replace x with x minus 2 on both sides and then simplify the resulting expression which is ax plus b minus 2a. Oh, should I should switch them around so I could say 2b or not 2b. Too bad, I still said it. Now, this is px minus 2 and that's px. Let's go ahead and add these two expressions and set it equal to 6x plus 4. So we have ax plus b plus ax plus b minus 2a equals 6x plus 4. And then we can basically find a and b from here, right? Let's go ahead and arrange the terms on the left. 2ax plus 2b, yay, minus 2a equals 6x plus 4. This implies, since this is a true statement for all x values in the domain, which is a set of real numbers, of course, 2a equals 6. Can't write 6 and 2b or not to b minus 2a is equal to 4, a equals 3, and if a is equal to 3, b minus a is 2 because I cut that in half, and since a is 3, b is going to be 5 from here. All right, so a is equal to 3, b is equal to 5, and I got a unique solution. So let's go ahead and plug it in, we'll test it out, and then we'll talk about some other cases such as the quadratic case, the cubic case, and general case, and then at the end, I'll show you the surprise, which is the result from Wolfram Alpha. I'm, gonna try, try, I'm not trying to make a big deal. I was surprised when I saw those results. Anyways, so p of x can be expressed as 3x plus 5. And if you plug this into the original equation, you're just going to see it will be a way to check. So kind of like a double checking, your answer doesn't hurt, right? P of x, uh oh, I don't know how that turned into P of 2. That's supposed to be P of x minus 2. And now this will become 3x plus 5 plus 3 times x minus 2 plus 5, which is 3x plus 5 plus 3x minus 6 plus 5, which is 3x minus 1. And this becomes, I'm putting the equal sign so they don't take off points. I know one of my viewers said, I'll take off points. Hopefully I don't lose points this time. And it checks, right? Because we were supposed to get 6x plus 4. Okay, great. So let's go ahead and take a look at the quadratic case. All right? Do you think there will be some quadratic solutions? Because with polynomials, 
you have to check all possible degrees. I mean, you have to show whether there are infinitely many solutions or um, these are the only solutions. Great. So what happens if P of X is quadratic? A X squared plus B X plus C. And then I'm going to add A times X minus 2 squared plus B times X minus 2 plus C. Let's go ahead and simplify this expression. I'm going to get AX squared, AX squared from here. So let's go ahead and let me expand it first. I'm not going to skip any steps. This is going to be AX squared minus 4X minus 4. I say minus, but I write plus. Minus 4AX. And then plus 4 is going to give me 4A plus BX minus 2B plus C. Okay, I'm not going to say it this time. AX squared plus AX squared is going to be 2AX squared bx plus bx is going to be 2bx and then again I'm not going to say it and then 2b and then minus 4a that's going to be the coefficient of x looks like it right and then my constants are going to be 4a minus 2b plus 2c that came up a lot so I'm kind of restraining myself okay this is supposed to equal 6x plus 4 what's that supposed to mean this is equal to 6x plus 4. Wait a minute, there is no x squared because the coefficient of x squared is 0. The coefficient of x is 6 as before, and this is supposed to be 4. Of course, a is 0, plug it in, you're going to find b and c, which means this can't be quadratic, and obviously higher degrees won't work either. But if you solve this equation for a equals 0, you're going to get 2b equals 6, which is b is equal to 3 and a is equal to 0. Remember, if a is 0, you're going to get from the, sec uh, the third equation, 4 times 0 minus 2b, which is 6, plus 2c equals 4, and this means c is equal to 5. And since our expression was ax squared plus bx plus c, this of course means that this is not quadratic, kind of like a quasi, no, not really, it's fake. This will be our answer. Make sense? Okay, I hope it does. Let's go ahead and take a look at the result from Wolfram Alpha, and we will finish with this. So sometimes you may not get the right idea like, okay, what if I just tested the quadratic case first? I would realize quickly that P of X cannot be quadratic. But think about the difference when there's a minus sign, X squared can cancel out. Can x cubed cancel out? Something to think about. I'm going to leave that question open. Let's go ahead and take a look at the result because I want to know what you think. Okay, what does Wolfram Alpha say? Ta-da! It says c sub 1 i to the x plus c sub 2 negative i to the x plus 3x plus 5. Okay, I get the 3x plus 5 piece because that's what I got, right? That's my real polynomial. Where does the i and negative i come from? Something to think about. Again, I'm going to leave that open. Please let me know what you think. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.